Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to Contemplating 30 Gems of Ramadan. And today we're doing gem number 17, which talks about a hadith Bukhari. But we have to understand there's many great things that come with Ramadan. There's many great things that come with fasting. And most of it is helping us build, it's helping us grow, and it's also helping us in disciplining ourselves in doing certain things and refraining from certain things. And today's hadith talks about whoever does not give up forged speech and evil actions, Allah is not in need of his or her leaving his food or his drink. SubhanAllah, it's true. God does not need us to pray. He doesn't need us to fast. He doesn't need us to give charity. If we do those things, it is only to benefit us. And as for fasting, we're refraining from food and water. These are things that are essential and necessary for us to survive. And if we can actually stay away from those things that we have to have, right? We can actually stay away from bad habits that we've developed. So it's something for me and you to reflect on. In Ramadan, not only are we to increase in our good acts, but it is our job to identify our vulnerabilities and our weaknesses and our bad habits to try to end those bad habits by the end of the month by refraining from using them so repeating the hadith of today says whoever does not give up forged speech and evil actions allah is not in need of his leaving his food and his drink so i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those that are conscious that are constantly working to please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we identify and see clearly what we do wrong and we make it our goal to refrain from those things until we eliminate them from our practice. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that guidance and for that strength. And we ask him to also forgive us for our shortcomings. I wanna take this time to really thank you for listening and taking the time to listen to these friendly reminders. Please be sure to follow, like, and share Shaded on the Day of Judgment.